Hi, Jean Baudrillard, the French philosopher, used to talk about the dream of merchandise, um, a dream about products. Products have uh, gotten an, an increasing importance for us in the last century. We started with an almost completely natural environment, and we are now living in an almost completely artificial environment, all based, all fulfilled by products. This dream about uh, the product of merchandise has turned recently in a nightmare for m many of the Western economies because of the overproduction. We have gone too far producing too many products, too many indifferentiated products. There is no more space uh, for uh, products without the soul, without the meaning. I mean, all the products that only compete about costs. Uh, have no more space here in the Western economies. All the mass production that compete only on cost move naturally to the countries where the labor costs are reduced at the minimum, uh, typically the Eastern countries. Obviously, not only the production plants move, also the, the conceiving structure, the, the, the thinking places move to the, to the Eastern countries. Is there still space for industrial products in the, um, in the Western countries? I think so. I think so. Um, there is space for products with a soul, with a meaning. Um, because what we now require, what we are, what we are asking to products, uh, is to have uh, a chance to make our person better, our personality, our soul better. We want better experience of life. All the products that represent a door to better experience of life have a sense now. Uh, I can talk about uh, products that connect to services, that represent interfaces to make the experience of a service uh, easier and more satisfactory. Um, for example, all the, all the all the, all, the, all the devices that allow us to have a, a better experience with medias uh, are quite important now. We feel better if we are more conscious, self-conscious about the respect of our environment. So all the sustainable products, uh, the, the, the products that have a reduced consumption of resources and have a reduced impact on the environment but have a good chance of, of success. There is an increasing, uh, an increasing uh, consciousness in the society about the need for a more responsible use of our environment. So products that uh, represent this self-consciousness have a greater chance of success beyond their performances. For example, the Toyota Prius uh, has had a good uh, market success of, uh, in California where the, the car market is overcrowded, is uh, total, totally fulfilled and uh, n not for its performances because the uh, fuel consumption or the, the pollution of the prios is not much better than any other average uh, city car uh, but just for their, its ability to communicate the, the consciousness, the, 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 the sense of responsibility of the owner about the environment, uh, this product had success. It's an interesting characteristic of modern products. Their ability to communicate. Uh, a product has a success now if it's able to communicate. Uh, for example, objects that communicate the, uh, a, a high cultural level, a high uh, an elite level, uh, you can we can call these exclusive, exclusive products a chance of success now. Uh, an exclusive product is a product that uh, cuts out uh, a great part of the society. It, 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 it looks like a um, <coughs> word strange for a, for a product to cut a, a part of the consumers. But it's necessary if you want to make a, a, a desirable product. Uh, just an example for all uh, the, 
the, the, the lemon squeezer, Juicy Salis, made uh, by Philip Stark in the 80s for Alessi. That is almost completely unusable. You can make uh, a lemon squeeze with uh, a lemon juice with, uh, with, with this lemon squeezer, but its uh, symbolic content is, is it's so emblematic uh, that a Greek part of the society desired to own this. It was a, 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 a presentation card of your personality. Um, there's a, there's a, I think there's a space for another kind of product that's quite the opposite of the, an exclusive product that we call, in fact, inclusive product. An inclusive product is a, a product that is conceived to make easier, as easy as possible, the experience of use of this product. Um, it is conceived for all the parts of the society that are not the, in the standard. The, 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 indu the inductive product is usually made for a standard consumer, customer, consumer. Uh, all the person with a body, uh, skill, uh, uh, physical abilities beyond outside of the standard are cut off from the from the from the, the chance of owning and, and using this kind of product. Inclusive products are uh, acquiring an, an increasing importance just because, uh, for example, the human population is uh, getting older and older. Um, we can consider that in the next 50 years, almost 50% uh, of the population will be considered old. Uh, it, it means that uh, they have different needs from the, what we consider now a standard consumer. Uh, interesting of this uh, new uh, aged population is that they have a, a good capacity of spending money. They, we, we, can, we can consider them as the richest part of the society. And they won't accept products that don't satisfy completely they, their needs, that are difficult to use, that make, make them feel unable. So there is a big space for products for elder people, uh, for people with different characteristics of use, uh, that can still be conceived and produced. Um, design has a big importance for it, and, and technology, of course. Thank you for your attention. Bye.